Joining me today is New Hampshire Representative Paul Henley. So, Paul, uh, flexibility and visibility. Okay. Um, uh, I, I said Are, on the way out we'd talk about that. <laughs> okay. What, what, what do you mean? Well, flexibility, flexibility well, let's start visibility. with visibility. Yeah. Um, most people, I don't know most people, but let's say, let's just, you know, we can say anything now, you're, right? You're on the House Ways and Means Committee. I'll tell most you, people most in New people Hampshire don't know. Don't how, know yep. how we're raising money here in New Hampshire, how state pays for any, where, where's that money come from? They kind of know we have some business taxes. Uh, I run into people who uh, still think the lottery pays entirely for our education. Um, I run into people who still think we have donor towns. Uh, but anyway, so visibility. I think taxes should be visible. I think that people in New Hampshire should know um, how we're getting our money. And uh, so that's why I like an income tax. So but before we get there, what are, what are the chief sources of revenue to the state? Uh, business taxes. I got some numbers right here, if I can read them. So this is current, well, fiscal year 2016. Yep. Uh, $688 million came from business taxes. Is that the business profits as well as the... Correct, combined. Uh, okay. $688 million. Uh, meals and rooms and car rentals, $300 million. So every time you go out to eat dinner at yeah, any 9%, restaurant, 9% tax. $300 million. Um, tobacco. Uh, two hundred and twenty-nine million dollars. Thank goodness. Um, and that's been going down. We lowered the rate. That's uh, it hasn't really. We we sort of expected. It's been kind of flat. So. It's kind of flat, and and it goes up and down with um, gas prices. Okay. You understand because a lot of it is people from Massachusetts coming and over we're to buy. Filling up tank, getting a and, pack of And you know they look yep. and say, well, and and if it's if gas is at four bucks a gallon, it doesn't no, make any it. sense. They'll stay in mass and buy the cigarettes. Uh, everything's interrelated. Interest and dividends, uh, $89 million. That's been going down. Mm -hmm. um, I would have thought. the interest rate. Yeah, I, you're, you're, yeah that makes sense. Uh, that, although, with the, what the Fed's doing, that may go up ever so it slightly. It may go up. We're hoping that we may be right in the middle where one of the things that the uh, Ways and Means Committee does is make the estimate for what's going to come in in the next two years. We're in the middle of that, and you know, we have our darts ready and our dart board, and mm -hmm. we're, we're ready to go on that. Uh, communication services tax, we all pay that on our telephone bill, uh, $52 million. Real estate transfer tax. Well, every time you buy and sell a house? Every time you buy and sell any piece of property, commercial, piece of raw land, uh, $133 million. Huh. That's going up. That definitely goes is, up and down with up. the economy. We're, well, right. We're, yeah. I mean, in 2008, nine, that must have been horrible. Yeah. No, it was probably down under 100 million. Now we're back up to 133. Uh, and that's about it. Then the tax, I love to talk about the utility property tax, um, $43 million. And what's that on? That's on, uh, we don't have time to get into the whole thing, but utilities, uh, on the generating company, and... not poles, oh, okay. not poles, just buildings. Yeah. Seabrook, um, generating, you know, hydroelectric plant, little mom pop hydroelectric plant. Pays a tax. Pay on... a property tax that's just for them, and it's an offshoot of the statewide property tax. Huh. Uh, it got split off from the statewide property uh, tax. Well, and what is the statewide property tax? That's a tax we all pay. Uh, the rate varies tiny, tiny bit town to town, but it's basically about $2.40 and is that, per thousand. And does that stay in the school system? Or that stays in the school fund? system. That stays in the school so, system. So it goes into the school. That's where people think about donor towns. Yes, it used to be. That's the, that's the tax that gave us donor towns. But we solved that problem by splitting off the utilities and by dropping the rate by two-thirds. Okay. So it started out at $6.60, and we dropped the rate to $2.40, and donor towns went away. But we didn't drop the rate for the utilities. That's still at $6.60. And does know, that go to the, that goes to the general fund? That goes to the schools. Oh, that also that goes, goes to the schools. That goes to this thing called the, edu the Education oh. Trust Fund. Okay. Um, and but the, you know, so the utilities are paying six sixty, and everybody else is paying two forty. You'd think the utilities would squawk, but they don't squawk because they just pass it on 
to us, the ratepayers. So here's a $43 million tax that we're paying as ratepayers so, that we don't know anything about. So we're... We're out of time with that segment, and we still haven't gotten through visibility. We still visibility. haven't gotten to flexibility. No, but visibility. So, <laughs> we, so, yeah. So when we come back, we're going to get to flexibility. So please stay with us.